Hello, and a welcome to another Hitman 3 video. I am Aztec Ninja, and we are in Hokkaido again. You might have noticed that I'm not exactly in the map, and I'm going to show you why. I'll explain exactly how I got here in a minute, but first I'm going to show you the reason why I did this in the first place. So let's drop down here, try not to get stuck. It's pretty safe to walk over the sauna rocks. There's the yoga instructor up there. And right down the, oh. Gotta go around the invisible wall right here. Don't mind the random body in the snow, that is perfectly normal. I guess I have to explain him too. When the game starts, pretty much immediately, this guy just jumps off of that cliff up there and falls about right there. And there's really only one way to save him, but you gotta be super quick. Anyways, back to what I was going to show you. So continue upward, don't go into that cliff, stay with the trees, put your camera through the mountain to see if it's safe to walk, and now you can see just exactly what's behind this mountain. A man in a hazmat suit, standing here by himself on a platform, just all the way out here, so so far from the map. Like, we turn on instinct, there are the targets, and then there's this guy, just chilling. And as you can see, if we shoot him in the leg, he gets panicked, but he doesn't really have anywhere to go. The platform he's standing on is completely solid, and yet, if he ragdolls, he falls straight through. He doesn't even land where we can stand. And now that's a non-target killed. Now if you're unfamiliar why that guy is just all the way out here by himself, I'll explain. So basically, on patient zero, the heart is still here even though Eric Soders is not even on the map. What the developers did with this heart is that they assigned the heart to an NPC, which was the one you saw all the way over there, standing by himself. If you shoot the heart, he dies. See? Um, excuse me, I'm trying to make a video here if you don't mind. How inconsiderate. If you shoot the heart, it's the same thing as doing this. that guy dies. I'd also like to demonstrate how you get back into the map. All you have to do is to run all the way back through the fake trees, through the fake mountain, past the dead body, around this invisible wall that slows you down, and back here over the rocks next to the hot spring. Under the facility itself, once again, don't get stuck in the rocks. And we're about to get to our destination. Just go up this little slope and drop down here. And that's how you make it back into bounds. Getting out of bounds, you just be around here, put the briefcase down in the corner, make sure it's flat, of course, breaching charge, throw some muffins or a violin on top, blow up the breaching charge, and it should send you right up here. Make sure to save the game if you can. You could also do it off of one of these balconies, but that might be a little inconsistent given that you might fall through the roof. We can look through these windows and confuse everyone inside as to how we got here, and they can see through the glass. If 
we drop down this way, some weird water here, very flat and one dimensional. But we can go around here. And I don't know why you would do this. Can barely make it up here. And we die. That's what happens when you walk into a death zone. Let's take a slightly different approach and see what happens. There's the helipad. This is what we can see with the instinct. And we're falling, we're falling down the mountain. Yeah. Wouldn't want to uh, slide down that. Let's explore the woods of Hokkaido, Japan. See what all we can find. Well, not much in the woods of Hokkaido, Japan after all. It's kind of a dead end. I don't exactly know where to go from here. Uh, there's everybody. Let's walk into Japan, shall we? I'm sure this ground is very solid, and I'm gonna land now. Never mind. And now I'm invisible. They're noticing my bullets. Can I actually get a shot from here? Is that doable? Maybe if I aim up. Oh, I got a shot. Now to explain the significance of all of this. Not too long ago, I created a contract series. I titled it Unworkable. And in every single level, every one that you could make a contract for, all 31 of them, I made them as challenging as humanly possible. For the one I'm about to show you, I created it on Patient Zero. And everything you have just seen is applicable in completing the contract. So, brave viewer, if you dare, and also have Hitman 3 on Steam, I will leave the contract ID in the description of this video, so you may attempt it. If you enjoy the contract, I highly recommend you look at the others. There's only 30 more after all. Oh yeah, and here it is by the way, if you just want me to show it in the video. Unworkable bonus 8. There's the contract ID. Here are the targets. You might want to see the complications. And here's Kokoro. See? I wasn't lying when I said 31. Thank you for watching the video. Even though some of it was just me promoting my contract series. Whether you play it or not, I hope you liked seeing the Out of Bounds for Hokkaido. And if you want more Hitman content, or just more similar gaming content in general, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and have a good one.